All right, everyone, we've had quite a week of energy, of readings, etc. I thought we'd pull a Friday reading. Why not? It's Friday. It's pretty early here, so I'm going to keep my voice down a little bit. But I might get excited. You never know. I'm breaking out the uh, old Lightseer, the retired Lightseer for, for this one. I'm going to give the deck a shuffle. We're going to pull one card for each sign. Right? One, just 12 angles on the soulmate cycle. And we'll see what, what your runner what the incoming energy towards you. It could be someone new as well at this point in the cycle. Uh, is thinking and feeling. All right, let's find out. We don't clarify in this reading. Tomorrow we pull the weekly reading. We do the same thing and we clarify, of course, and we ask what actions they're likely to take. But today, let's find out what they're thinking and feeling, especially after this week's freaking energy, which is just mind-blowing. Temperance tried to fly out of the deck. I'll tell you what. All right. Let's go. It's a general reading. May or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. This reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. Okay? Bottom of the deck, the overall energy is you. They're all thinking and feeling you. They're all seeing you sitting there. Right? We talked about it in the uh, Mercury Retro... Oh, Mercury Retrograde. Mercury Direct reading. Right? That FOMO energy is the fear of missing out. It is coming to the surface. It's a dominant energy. It really is. Yeah. You look great. Look at you. Got your fancy roll bomb, holding a pinnacle, thriving. At least that's how they perceive you. They, they can feel your energy growth. It creates a lot of stress and tension within them. Yeah, there's an obsession here. Devil underneath that. And that jives from the... And we didn't touch this deck in that Mercury Direct reading. That jives there because that came out in the soul. I pulled a whole extended based on that energy alone. Uh, yep, yeah. it's, it's an obsessive thinking. It's, it's all here. Let's see. Let's just take a snapshot of the soulmate cycle, a story. And it is a story. It begins with Aries, position one as I know it, right? Ends with Pisces, position 12. Just 12 slices of the soulmate cycle. At least nine out of these, nine out of the 12 should resonate with you in some way. Could just be one thing I say. There's text at the top of the description that explains why there's no timestamps here because I know any new people are used to timestamps, but uh, that's not what you do when you're in a cycle. When you're in a cycle, you're all stuck in a room together. You're all stuck in a situation, stuck in a moment, and you can't get out of it sort of a thing. All right, let's go. Uh, Aries, position one. Where's our story begin? Four swords. <whistles> crickets. Just crickets. They just probably... I want to say dreaming about you. I can't say that for sure. I don't really get that. I just get somebody here who's uh, just sitting in their feelings. Okay. So our story begins very quiet. It's very quiet. You definitely are opening up their heart chakra. Uh, position two, Taurus. Five wands. There's a, um, a conflict. I'll call it that. Uh, there's a misunderstanding. There's something. Somebody here is afraid to admit to something. Okay, whether they want, it could just be as simple as admitting they were wrong. Yeah, that, that comes up a lot, but it's more than that. They're afraid to admit to something. They're afraid to admit that maybe that they're afraid they ran from you or sad they ran from you. Wh whatever it is, having to admit this hurts their ego. They're dwelling on that right now. Dwelling on it. Round and round in their damn head. Position three. Gemini. Six of Cups. A lot of... Uh, no, I'm not going to say that. Someone's thinking about something that happened in the past that has nothing to do with you, but it's coming back to bite them in the ass a little bit. Okay? I think that benefits you in some way. We'll see what happens in tomorrow's reading when we see what actions they're likely to take. I like that energy. I don't think they do, but I like that energy. Cancer, the hot spot of the connection cycle definitely resonate with everybody something I say here for sure because it is the theme energy of this cycle this whole thing uh, it bookends the four of swords that's interesting let's see Hierophant yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of healing happening here there's a lot of heart chakra opening I read that right yep got it yeah um, somebody here is thinking about and, and I'm just asking the universe what they're thinking and feeling I, they may be already in process on this, but somebody's making some long-term changes in how they live their life. Abso-fucking-lutely. All right. Okay. We'll say, well, that's, these, got, these two are going to be very interesting in, in tomorrow's reading. All right. Maybe this one, too. All right. Um, Leo. We just did a Leo soap opera recently. Oh, God. Uh, Seven of Wands. Mm, 
There's a stubborn energy here. Somebody feels safe watching you from a distance. Uh, you may, uh, I'm going to tell you this, uh, based on what they're thinking and feeling right now, because it's a lot of you. It, it's, they're, they're thinking and feeling a lot about it. Uh, you may see signs that this person's thinking and feeling about you. And I mean physical signs out in the real world. Someone who looks just like your person. Someone who drives what they drive, right? Some, a license plate that spells out their name somehow with numbers and letters. Things like that. Keep your eyes open. The universe is trying to tell you something about your situation. Okay? I'm, I'm, just, I'm just sharing that. It's not really part of the card. I'm just sharing that it's part of the energy. I read energy, not cards. So you get a little... Sometimes you get a little extra. Um, as far as your person goes, as far as who this energy is attached to, they feel safe. They're, they're basically hiding behind a rock, casing out your joint, right? You know, that's basically, and they feel safe back there for the moment. There's a stubbornness to it, too. Um, for the moment. We'll see. I expect some action here. That's a. Mm. Uh, Virgo, position six, moon. Um, this is your energy attached to this. Uh, you don't know what you don't know. Something here, there's an energy attached to you that, that is keeping their feelings secret from you. Okay? Uh, I don't think it's a runner. I don't think it's that old. It doesn't feel like old energy. It could be somebody you work with in the right trailer park. It could be a cousin. I, I don't, you know, I don't know. But somebody's keeping their, sec their feelings a secret from you. They're afraid to tell you how they really feel. So, so my queen of cups here is underwater. Um, we'll see what happens. Again, that's what they're thinking and feeling. I'm letting you know that so you know. Don't, don't go overboard and get in your head too much trying to figure out who it is. I think they're doing a pretty good job of keeping a secret, right? Nobody gonna, if, if, no one on the shore here is going to see her underwater, okay? Just letting you know. Libra, position seven, the hangman. Some, oh, okay. How do I phrase this? Somebody attached to you is thinking about you differently than they used to, than they did before. That's going to be different for all of you. That can go positive. That can cut both ways. That's a double-edged sword. They might be thinking negatively. They might be thinking positively, however they thought before. Um, I get sort of an... I wish I could clarify. This is the one card that's fallen so far that I wish I could clarify. I'm just going to riff on the energy for a little bit. And I'm just going to say, I think they're, I think it's fake. I think they're doing it. They're thinking differently about you. I think for most of you, it's negatively, whereas it used to be positive. And I think they're doing it to try to shut down the feelings that they have for you because it's feedback and off of this moon thing. She being pushed underwater. All right. I wouldn't worry about that. It's not going to last because she can't hold her breath forever. All right. She not, she, you know, she's not a fish. All right, let's go. Scorpio, my hot Scorpios. Ace of Cups. I, w I want to say someone's about to tell you how they feel, but that's not, that's not the energy I put out to you. It feels like they are. I'll just tell you that off the record, off reading. Um, someone's holding on to a mix of love and resentment towards you. I think it's similar to what I said. We got a similar energy all right in here. I think the resentment is their, uh, their, mis their, um, their blame shifting. In other words, the res they never told you how they feel, so they're mad at themselves, so they, they shift it and they get mad at you instead, you know, kind of a thing. Uh, there's a mix of love and resentment here. All right? I, I do think somebody's going to this person's going to come forward, I, I think. I'm just riffing on the energy with that, but uh, Sagittarius. Sometimes separate from the cycle. Sometimes. I don't know. Two of Wands. Uh, I have said this to you before, and I will say it again. There's an energy that sees you as the bee's knees, like they used to say, right? Um, I think they feel you're unapproachable, or they can't get to you in some way. Not the way they'd like to. That's what they're thinking and feeling. Uh, don't know. I, I believe that they're going to get to you some way, but they feel like they can't. I get this a lot in the Sagittarius angle. I get a very specific energy in Sagittarius. I also get a very specific energy always for the Leo angle, too. Um, these two energies are tied together. That's why I'm pointing that out. Capricorn, position 10. Eight of Wands. Listen, somebody wants to talk to you straight up. Somebody's coming towards you. Coming in hot. 
Uh, there's Five of Wands energy attached to this, and there's Hierophant energy attached to this. Um, it's my job to keep track of where these crisscross. It's your job just to enjoy the reading. Uh, but I, I will tell you that there is an energy coming toward you. There's a comp you're about to run headlong into a soulmate, right? Just ram right into them. I, I, I don't know if it's somebody who pops up on your social media. That's possible. Or somebody you physically run into into the world. There's a lot of physical energy here. There's a lot of real world energy here. Uh, the internet kind of feels different than real world, right? Um, Mm, okay, they want to talk to you. They're thinking about what they're going to say, but at the same time, coming towards. Um, I think there's some sort of, if it is physical in the real world, I think there's some sort of, uh, it call it happenstance, serendipity. It just happens, you know. Um, I, look out for any new people who new, any W, not nude, right? New people who show up on your social media. All right, as well, if you have that. Uh, Aquarius, position 11, star. You're a powerful manifest. You're all, all of you. This has got to be all of you. Or I can't be 100%. That's not mathematically possible, but uh, very strong, somewhere in the 90 to 100, 90 to 99% range. You guys are powerful manifestors right now. Start manifesting. Right around this new moon, in this new moon energy, manifest. You put it out there with feelings, right? Put it out there with feelings and let it go. Don't keep placing the order over and over and over again. Just like that would annoy a waiter or a waitress. It annoys the hell out of the energy because it's got to keep starting over. Right? Just put it out there, whatever it is, and go about your life. Just go off in another direction. That will create, the universe will fill that void with, with something. There's a very powerful manifesting energy right, right there. And that applies to a, almost all of you. It really does. Uh, Pisces, position 12. It's always read with position 1. Or, or the end of our story should tie the beginning and everything together. Uh, so it's read with a 4 of swords already. And it's always, for some reason, read with position 5. So it's read with a 7 of wands already, too. What is it? The hermit. It's a lot of peace. Quiet. See, I've got, I've got crickets. And I've got someone in the background keeping the high ground. i got crickets, crickets. And crickets. Um, this is a strange energy. I had a reading I did recently where I said something to the effect of you already know the answer. I think it was my compelled reading, my, my super random thing I did. You, you already have the answer. You do. Um, this is different for all of you, but I do want to point out that if you sit in the silence, you will pick up on who's around you. You will pick up on a lot more things than you normally would. Okay? You, you uh, for a brief moment in time here, especially I think during this new moon and, and with all the other affecting energies that are around it, including a couple of short cycle core energies that are around, you are a little bit of the warlock on the hill. Alright? So just find yourself a lofty place to sit. Maybe you got some place you like to go and think. Go there and sit in the silence. You'll get more answers than you realize. Okay? Alright, that's that. Let's have the universe add this up. Oh, we're going some deep energy reading. I think we're going into that. I, I get a little deeper. I can go a little deeper. It, for those of you that have been a around a while, you know that as we get closer to Scorpio season, um, I always say I, I hulk up in Scorpio season. and It's starting a little early this year. It's, I'm starting to be able to... It's easier to flow down into the energy. Uh, it's very, very odd. But yeah, uh, pay attention to what I said here because it really applies to pretty much all of you. Okay? Um, all right. And pay attention to whatever reading I said you already have the answer. That's very interesting. All right. Let's have the universe added up. Let's talk to the witches. All right? Three cards and a bottom card. Add all this up. What is the incoming energy, which you all probably call the runner, uh, or any soulmate energies attached to you? What are they thinking and feeling? Hmm? The energy here is very mellow. Yeah, I'm being quiet because it's real early here, but the inflection in my voice is just, it's just smooth. It's like my KSLT 69.69 .69 FM radio voice. You know, it's really like that. Um, and, and we opened with that, you know, we kind of opened with sort of a, it's a very somber healing type energy on this incoming energy, which is probably why you could pick up on it if you find yourself a place to sit like this fellow here. 
All right, let's go. Three cards and a bottom card. Add it up, universe. Where are we at here? Where are we at? Hmm? Yeah. Environmental energy is the Knight of Cups. I think something's about to pop here. That'll be crossing the center card I pulled, the base energy. The devil. Yep, there's that fear of missing out. There's that obsession energy. There is a lot. You're all they're thinking and feeling right now. If your person's married, they're not thinking and feeling that. They're not worried about their job. They're not worried about anything. There's an energy attached to you that is thinking and feeling about you in an obsessive way with, it, with that, again, like I talked about in Mercury Direct Reading, that fear of missing out energy, which will bring them to you. And like I said in that reading, it's not an ideal conversation energy to be in. It's a bit like the person who said, no, they don't want to come to your party. And then when they see the party is jumping, right? You're the queen of pentacles. Now all of a sudden they show up at the party unannounced. It's a bit like that. It's, it's both flattering and insulting in the same way you want to kind of tell them off, but at the same time you're having fun at the party. So you're, you know, whatever. It's, it's a bit of that. So that's why it's not the most ideal energy. What's the center card? Two swords. Yeah. Night, night, it, it's, something's about to pop. And we got a color match here if you look. They're very similar backgrounds. Uh, yeah, uh, the environmental energy is urging them to come towards you. There's that fear of missing out, that antsiness. Somebody here is just sitting at the stoplight right now. And there's that blindfold we talked about in Mercury Direct Reading the other day, right? There's that blindfold. They don't understand this connection. They don't understand what, the power of it. No idea whatsoever. Uh, what's red with the devil? That's why the King of Wands. King of Wands, the Burger King. You're, you're, these, this is the card, this and an out of balance emperor, along with sometimes the Queen of Wands in certain contexts. But this is this is your runner. This is the King of Wands. It is the Burger King. Got to have it their way. But this is an energy of a person is very ego based, and they don't like li missing out on things. It's it's the example I just gave you about the party. Right? Fear of missing out is not why I want someone who I have a deep soul connection coming at me. It's not ideal. I'll take it, but it's not ideal. And it's not ideal for the reasons I already said. They said they didn't want to come to your party. They ran, but, but all of a sudden they see, oh, you've become the queen of pentacles. Wow, look at you in that fancy robe with the big pentacle and everything. And then they just show up at the party. This is the character that does shit like that. Right? I say I don't want to come to your party, just like, my, just, just like I'm sure many of you. We say we don't want to go. We don't go. We don't just show up because, oh, it looks like it might be fun. You know, and then, uh, now I feel left out. You know, but they, well, you know, right? I said I didn't want to go. I don't want to go. Well, I'll catch the next party. Right? But they're not like that. That hurts their ego a little bit. There's something going on with the way they're feeling your energy growth. Your frequency. You're raising your vibration. Raising your frequency. And that, that it bothers them. It hurts their ego. It, and, it, and it activates this devilish side of fear of missing out energy here. It's just what it is. Pay attention to Mercury Direct Reading. It's very important here, obviously. We're very close to it and it's happening during this Friday reading. So that's it. That's your reading. Uh, tomorrow we'll do the week ahead, which is, I think, the week of what? The 17th through the 23rd. And we'll see what actions they're likely to take. This is getting ready to pop here for a good number of you. All right, uh, Either they show up directly or you find out something. I don't know. But we'll see in tomorrow's weekly reading what actions they're likely to take and we clarify. We do the same thing, but we clarify. So that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right. Good luck.